dealing with how to scalp um, using microcipher on lower time frames, right? So when I say lower time frames, it means the oscillators tend to move faster than in higher time frames. These are your oscillators. These are your oscillators. This this green line. This sorry. This yeah, of course this green money wave. These are oscillators. You see they are moving, right? So it means it moves faster or probably under one minute. You understand? So that makes you it is better this way if you're new to trading. If you are not really a pro, I'll probably mm, yeah, of course you're not a pro, you stick to this strategy for now because it's easier and simple because your oscillators are moving and it's more or less like um it's lower time frame so you can see the movement. So these are your momentums as well. See how momentum moves. It moves across this line, this 60 line, then it comes back down. You understand? Then it crosses this negative 60 line, then it goes up. Remember, everything is an inverse relationship. This is the positive territories and this is the negative territory. So it crosses, it goes up, it comes down, then it goes up again, right? It comes down. So this is the basic movement or this is the default movement of the momentum. Money doesn't move that way because money is just liquid. So if you wanted to, let's say, take a shot, right? If you wanted to take a shot, you probably enter a shot from this side because definitely momentum will come down, right? Then you take a shot to momentum probably gets to this point. If you are still confident, you hold on to that shot till it crosses this line. Once momentum crosses the 60 line, negative 60 line, it builds up and goes back up like this. So let's see what happens to price in scenarios like this. So when momentum was going up, you could see price was also climbing up. You could realize price was coming down. And let's see what happened when momentum came down when we registered at red dot here momentum came down what happened to price price also came down you see we build another momentum here green dot what happened price went up so it's like you can basically use the lower time frames to just scalp right so let's see another scenario here we registered a green red dot here what happened to momentum momentum came down 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 like this came down 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 you understand like so this is basically <clears throat> how it works on lower time frame. The oscillators tends to move faster, like it moves like this, it goes up, it comes down, it goes. So you could probably be making longs here, yeah? take a long, goes up, take a short, it comes down, long goes up. It's a simple basic strategy. You understand know, like how to win your trades with this simple strategy. And if you're new to this channel, the name is Sel Nupa. A former cyber moderator and also a consultant for Market Cypher and Market Cypher Academy. Market Cypher is basically a trading script that gives traders insight into the very direction of the asset. So there is Academy as well where you can have um, audited and veteran traders that can assist you with um, the basics and the fundamentals of trading using Market Cypher script. It's not about the trading, it's about the script. And um, again, it might sound as if I'm trying to plug you something, but it works. They do have um, a merchandise as well. And the goal is just to simplify to people all over the world to understand trading. They do have a Discord as well. You can also use my link in the description to understand how trading works using Market Cypher. So this is just a basic overview on scalping on lower time frames using Market Cypher script. So until then, people, have a nice time, people. Peace. <laughs>